Welcome to the project demonstration of thyristor power control AC induction motor by using uh, IR TV remote. So from this TV remote we are going to set the speed to this AC induction motor and the commands will be received by the this microcontroller. So here we are using two microcontrollers. One microcontroller will take the input from the IR remote and that will be received by this TSOP 176H so receiver module and the data will be decoded and that will be converted into the serial so why because so using one microcontroller we can't control the AC induction motor as we need to take the input from the zero crossing detector so this has to be connected at B0 pin B0 is nothing but hardware interrupt pin so here TSP, uh, TSP1768 also TSOP1768 also need to be connected to the B0 pin as it will get the interrupt output so controller has only one interrupt that's why we are using another extra microcontroller and it will convert that TSOP data to the serial and the serial data will be given as input to the main microcontroller so this mother uh, main microcontroller will take that input and based on the commands we are going to control the firing angle to this thyristor so here the firing angle uh, like uh, uh, levels are 5 levels 0 to 4 so total 5 levels firing angle will be controlled so that is 45 90 120 180 directly so as you know that firing angle nothing but we are providing AC signal so AC signal nothing but 50 Hz of clock uh, frequency so in that one pulse can cover 360 degrees in that positive angle uh, positive waveform is 180 degrees negative waveform 180 degrees so we are going to control the positive waveform using this thyristor by controlling the 180 degrees firing angle so in order to inform to the microcontroller at which time the positive waveform is going to be start so for that purpose we are making use of this zero crossing detector so we are providing 230 volts AC input parallelly to the motor through this thyristor and to the transformer so which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC that is input to this regulated power supply board so from here parallelly we are giving the 12 volts AC to this zero crossing detector on this one we can see the IC version of bridge rectifier so full bridge rectifier which will convert the AC to pulsating DC so when the AC waveform starts positive waveform then the transistor will get switched on at voltage of 0.7 volts only so then controller will get the trigger pulse from the interrupt pin so then based on the input from this slave controller from this IR remote if it is zero the controller provide the zero firing angle to this thyristor if it is one so next 45 degrees means the 45 degrees till the duration controller will get switched on this thyristor so in that manner we are going to control the firing angle and parallelly we are going to control the speed of this AC induction motor and that will be measured from this IR sensor and displayed on this LCD screen as we are using uh, 120 watts of AC induction motor the speed is maximum from this one is 1250 rpm so right so on this uh, regular power supply board we can see the one more four diodes so those diodes are the like bridge rectifier which will convert the AC to pulsating DC to remove the pulses capacitor will be there and the capacitor will get the directly output of 12 volts pure DC but the operating voltage of our microcontroller is 5 volts for that purpose we are making use of this 7805 regulator so once we provide the 5 volts input to this parallelly distributing that throughout the input and output modules input is like slave motherboard and from there input is TSOP and the output is LCD display and thyristor so overall the components are transformer, regular power supply, thyristor board, zero crossing detector, slave microcontroller which will take input from this TSOP 176H and output is to the master microcontroller and from there to the LCD display and AC induction motor with IR sensor. So let us see the demonstration. So when we are providing input from the IR TV remote, so if it is not responding you can check from your mobile phone camera as you can see that the IR light is getting on so it can be seen by only camera of mobile phone not with the naked eye so for every input we can see the one LED blinking on this slave motherboard so it is zero right next one you can see on the LCD also so next I am entering the two three is a maximum okay again zero so 
so the 5 won't take the input because we coded for only 0 to 4 right